Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Andrea and today I have a Valentine's Day collab with Lisa from Banding Painting and Beyond and Marilee from Marilee Does Makeup. So we all own the Natasha Denona Love Palette and Lisa suggested that we do a collab with it. And of course we all wanted to collab again so we agreed. And what we decided to do, so here's the inside of the palette. We decided that each one of us was going to take a row. So Lisa got the first row, I got the middle row, and Marilee got the bottom row. And what we each did is we had our husbands pick a shade and then we all picked a shade. So row by row. And I'm not quite sure who picked what, but Lisa and her husband picked transparent, wait, that's transparent, and heartbeat from the first row. My husband picked Pure Love and I picked Commitment and then Marilee and her husband picked Valentine and Dream. So I'll give a quick, ooh, these feel nice. I haven't used this palette yet. I'll give quick swatches. So this is Heartbeat. That's trans, ooh, that one's really pretty. Transparent. This is Pure Love. Commitment that might not be quite an accurate color representation because I did have some shadow left on my hand, but it's supposed to be a black, I believe, but it's looking kind of like really dark purple on my hand. And then Valentine and Dream. So these are the six colors that we have to work with. And I think I'll be able to come up with something very pretty with this. I also, since I decided, I just wanted to see what would happen. I'm doing the hashtag 365 days of eyeshadow challenge that was created by Jessica Lee, which if you don't know, it's pretty much exactly what it sounds like. Every day you just wear, you choose a new eyeshadow to work on. And I've been doing it with my Tiny Decisions app. And I actually, the one that got randomly generated for today is this Stila in Tulip Twinkle. So I'm also going to try to incorporate this into my look. And we also decided Lisa got tagged in a Valentine's tag video. And we thought it would be fun since we're all planning on doing this get ready with me style that while we're doing our eye looks, we'll be answering the Valentine's Day tag questions. So I've got my computer with the questions over here. I've got my eyeshadows over here and I am going to start with my eye primer, obviously. I am trying something new that I think it's fairly obvious and I know I say it like all the time. I film on my phone, but I'm not super happy with the image quality of my videos because I mostly film with the front camera just because I like being able to see myself but the front camera is really not as good as the back camera so I'm trying it this <laughs> this is risky doing a get ready with me style I look video and not being able to see if I'm in frame or in focus or anything but we're giving it a shot and hoping and praying that it works out because I really don't want to have to refilm this and I probably should have experimented with a different video, but it's too late now. Okay, I'm gonna get some clean brushes because all of my brushes are pretty dirty. Okay, I've got a selection of clean brushes, so hopefully that will help. I'm probably gonna do something very, what is the word I want? expected. That's not the word I want, but you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to start with the shade Valentine, that pink shade, and I'm just going to do it. Put it in my crease. Put it in my, well, not really my crease, my transition area. Okay, the first Valentine's Day tag question. Is Valentine's Day more for men or women? And I think that's a trick question. <laughs> I, I'll start out by saying I don't care about Valentine's Day that much. I know there are many, obviously many, many people who do care about it, considering how huge the industry is. 
I would say that it's for both. It's for, it's catered towards women. Like if you look at the commercials and everything about getting flowers and chocolates and jewelry and like cars or whatever kind of commercials are going on, it's always the man giving it to the woman. So in that respect, it's for the woman, but it's also for the man because it's like, it's telling them you need to do this to, in order to be a good partner and in order to like show that your spouse that you love them. So it's kind of capitalizing on that as well as the whole for women thing. Like if your husband or partner, or I mean, even girlfriend or whoever doesn't get you a gift then that means they don't care about you. So I think that answered the question. I don't know. Number two is, do you have any special plans for Valentine's Day? Well, no, because, you know, coronavirus. Not that we ever really do anything for Valentine's Day anyway, because we use it more as an excuse to have a date night and not have to be with our, <laughs> so, so bad, and not have to be with our kids. But just to get some time alone but it's not something where it's like we have to do something for valentine's day or it means we don't love one another i don't know okay i'm gonna go into dream next and kind of i probably don't want something like that I'll use this one Oops. oh by the way that brush i was just using was just my brush that says blending on it unknown unknown brand this is a bh cosmetics number eight brush i don't i'm gonna put this like more down in my crease so wait what is the question do you have any special plans i mean we're obviously still gonna we're gonna be home we're gonna have the kids home with us so i think we were talking about it last night actually it's just we're just gonna try to find like a kind of a special recipe and dessert to make together because we both like cooking and baking and that's something that we don't really do together too often anymore. So we're gonna try to find something fancy to cook together and potentially we may end up watching a movie but since Valentine's Day is on a Sunday we probably will not so. Number three is which traditional gift would you rather receive? Chocolates, flowers, or a card with a personal message? I mean, I would probably pick the card with the personal message because, I mean, let's be I can buy myself chocolate and flowers. And spoiler alert, I did buy myself chocolate and flowers. So I don't need my husband to buy me that. But, I mean, I guess I could write myself a, personalized, a card with a personalized message, but... I'd rather receive that from my husband than chocolates or flowers. Although chocolates and flowers are good too. I might, I mean, I'm not saying I would turn them down if that's what he got me, but I would much rather have like a heartfelt card that he wrote. Okay, I'm going to take the blending brush again and dip back into Valentine and just go over top of that just a little bit to blend it a little bit more where right where they need. Number four is do you like romantic movies? And not really. Like that's not my preferred genre. I'm not saying like I've never watched a rom-com or anything. Hold on, I'm trying to figure out what I want to do next. I think I'm going to take heartbeat so this one and I'm gonna do maybe like the outer half of my lid and then I'll deepen the corner up with commitment and then I'll put pure love over the rest of it in transparent wool that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna use this elf eye crease brush to place heartbeat down so as I was saying I 
there are certain like rom-coms that I like. And While You Were Sleeping with Sandra Bullock and Bill Pullman is one of my favorite romantic comedy movies. And I also love Bridget Jones' Diary. But like straight up romance, like I've never seen The Notebook. I don't really want to see The Notebook. I'm not interested. That's it's just not really a genre that I care about. I like, I'd rather watch a romantic comedy because I enjoy the comedy aspect of it more than I do the romance aspect. I know I probably in the minority on that one, but I like what I like. What can I say? Number five, have you ever received a Valentine's Day gift from a secret admirer? No. No, I have not. Six, describe your perfect Valentine's Day date. Um, again, this is going to sound kind of mean, but like going out to eat, well, obviously in this scenario, coronavirus doesn't exist. But going out to a nice, like, not a super expensive restaurant, but a nicer restaurant with my husband and then going to a movie afterwards. Like, that, it sounds really boring, but that is my ideal date. That's, that's what we liked to do in the before times. Seven, do you enjoy playing Cupid, setting up people, or matchmaking? I... I'm going back into a dream again, just a little bit over on the outer corner. And I'm gonna run the, I'm also gonna run dream on my lower lash line, I think. No, I am not, I don't, I've never tried setting anyone up, mostly because I was pretty much the, one of the last single people out of my friends group so I didn't know any single people to set other people up with. And if I had known single people, like I would probably want to try to set them up with myself first. But I mean, I like the idea of trying to set someone up with someone else, I think would be a good fit for them. But that's just, I really don't. I don't really know many single people anymore, so it's kind of it's kind of a moot point. And then number eight, what is the color of love? Um, sorry, I need I need intense concentration for this part, apparently. I mean, I don't know. Love doesn't really have one specific color. It's just can be a lot of different colors depending on how you're feeling and what's going on in the world, I guess. I don't know. That I'm I'm copping out on this one because I'm like I could just like really cop out and be like, red is the color of love because that's the color of blood in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> That's really weird. I don't know. Um, I'm using the e.l.f. crease brush and going into commitment now. Where is it? Commitment to deepen up the outer corner just a little bit. I think I really do. I don't think this is supposed to be black. I think it is supposed to be like a really dark purple. It looks black. I mean, it pretty much is performing black on the eye, but... I think it's supposed to be more of a blackened purple. Like, if I think about what my husband's favorite color is and use that as the color of love, then the color of love is black because he's one of those. He just loves black. Yeah, that's okay. Stop talking, Andrea. You're just making things worse. Okay, so now that I've totally just had verbal diarrhea, 
Okay, so now I'm going to take Pure Love and I'm going to put that all over my lid. I'm going to try it out with this large shadow brush from Eco Tools. This is way larger than I would normally use, but okay, I am oops, I am going to spray it with my e.l.f. With my e.l.f. spray. First, I'm just going to totally point the nozzle in the wrong direction and spray my mirror, and then I'll spray the brush. This is such a pretty, pretty shade. When I, I got this palette in my um, Beautylish Lucky Bag unboxing, which I'll link up in the cards, and this was one of the two shades that I immediately had to swatch because it looked so sparkly and like purple and it's duochrome a little bit. Okay, this is, that was pointing in the correct direction. That looks really nice. Okay, actually I think what I'm gonna do, I'm going to put transparent on my inner corner and my brow bone. And then I'll use the Stila like along my lower lash line. That's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take this e.l.f. smudge brush, what they call a smudge brush, what I call a pencil brush. I'm going to do my inner corner. This is, this is the reason I like doing videos like this. Because, like, I'm doing this and I think, like, this is, in my head, I'm like, this is the only possible, like, combination or way that I can put these shadows together. But then when I go and watch Lisa's video and Marilee's video, I'm sure they're going to have a totally different look. Which, it's just, I like doing these videos because I like seeing how people's minds work differently. And you know what? Actually... That, that tulip twinkle, I don't know. I'm going to put it on, I'm going to put it underneath on my lower lash line, but I want, I might pop some of it like right in the front half of my eye, just because it seems a little, I guess it'll depend on how opaque it is. I'm going to take this the Ulta smudger, and I'm going to tap the product off onto this instead of just applying the doe foot straight to my face. Oh, I don't know if that would actually lighten that up that much. I don't even know if I've, I might have used this Tulip Twinkle like once, maybe. I don't think that will be light enough to lighten up the inner half. So I'm just going to take a little bit more of that transparent shade and just kind of layer it maybe like up to where my iris starts and blend it just so that it lightens so my inner part of my eye isn't so dark. I don't know if that actually did anything. I think it did. I don't know. I like that. I like that I decided to put the tulip twinkle underneath, even though I will definitely need to use my like nude, my wet and wild brow highlight on my bottom waterline because it looked a little sickly there. So I'm going to jump off well, not really jump off. I'm just going to continue filming, but I'm going to cut all this stuff out. 
and I'm going to do my eyeliner and mascara and my lips and then I'll come back and we'll be done with the video. Okay, so this is the finished look for my lips. I put on this ColourPop Lippy Sticks in Cherry Bomb because it's in my deck of panning project and because this was the last lipstick I needed to use for one of my prompts and the last time that I had to use it. But it's, as you can see, it's like really bright, like bright pink. And it was, it didn't quite go. So I topped it with my Oma Beauty Boss Gloss in the shade No Stoppin' to darken it up a little bit. And I really enjoy the way that this look turned out. Like I said, this was my very first time using this palette and any Natasha Denona shadow in general. I, so far from just using it the one time, I think the quality is really nice. Not something, I mean, I know this palette is like 65, not something that I would want to pay. Like, I wouldn't buy a palette bigger than this. Let's just, let's put it that way. But this was our Valentine's Day Natasha Denona love collab. I don't know. We didn't really come up with a, a title for it or anything. We did decide that we wanted to start a hashtag so that when the three of us decide to do collabs together, it's a lot easier to find them. Plus, if other people wanted to join in, it wouldn't be like exclusionary. It's, it's for us, but it can also be used by anyone who wants to join us. So we're doing Hashtag Makeup Mavens United. I think that's what we decided on. And so that'll be, instead of linking the other ladies' videos and channels, you can click on that hashtag and you'll go, you'll be able to see their videos through the hashtag. And I think that's it. I've been rambling and I feel, like I said, this is only the second video I've filmed after like my week and a half of not filming anything. So I feel... A little discombobulated plus the fact that I'm I can't see myself in my phone and it's throwing me off a bit so I'm just gonna stop and <laughs> call this video done and I will really okay I'm just gonna I really like this lip gloss but especially when you wear it over other lipsticks it gets all over your teeth and I, I'm not a fan of that but maybe I just need to stop wearing it over other things but anyway, that is the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you will check out Lisa and Marilee's videos because I'm sure they came up with some great looks. And I hope you're staying safe and sane and healthy and I'll talk to you later. Bye.